Hi, I'm Danielle from djcoolbeer.co.uk and today I'm going to show you how to applique. So to applique you will need what the pattern you want to applique, paper scissors, fabric scissors, what you want to applique onto and what you want to applique, pins and needles, thread, depending on how you're going to applique freezer paper or bondable web. You also need an iron to use with the fusible web. So we will start off with a little piece of fabric that we will be appliquing onto. They do come in sheets which have got two pieces of paper. One comes off really easily, the other is stuck on. Onto the non-removable side you want to draw in reverse what you want to applique. So I'm just going to do a very simple circle. The next thing you want to do is cut that out onto the reverse side of the fabric. You want to remove the paper and you can see that it's sticky. You want to place that on the fabric. You then can either out. So there's my reddish circle-ish piece and then I have my background which I want to applique. You then, using the iron, press and now it won't come off and you can also build up so I have some other shapes. I can add. And press again. So I'm now going to show you the second way of appliquing tacking to paper. This letter is a 300 point P from the web processing program on my computer, so very easy to make. So you want to place it face down so that it's the wrong way, so when you flip your letter is the right way out. So you want to square it up as well as you can against the grain and cut out using your fabric scissors, leaving about a quarter inch seam allowance that will be folded under. For the middle you want to fold in half from there up to the corner, but be careful not to cut too far. And folding the fabric over, making sure to keep the nice sharp edge of the paper. So going into the corner where it's going back down the stem of the letter of the P, Cut on an angle, making sure not to cut too close to the edge. Continue tacking round. There is your tacked P ready to be sewn on to its background. You take some pins. Square it up. So once the letter is pinned to the background, you want to start to applique it. And I classify this as invisible because the stitch is uh, as hidden as possible. So starting with the knot at the back, you want to come up right on the edge, the minimal few threads of the P, going back under taking a few threads of the backing and coming back up onto the P and continue around. Okay, so I have finished appliquing the letter. So when you have appliqued all your letters, you can then remove the tacking stitch. So easiest way is to probably use a pin and just pull it out. I have completely sewn round, so I can't remove the paper from the front, but if you would not like to have flat back, 
If before you finish stitching in the back, you remove the tacking and the paper and then finish sewing the applique. And you can pull the paper out. And that's how to applique.